Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a lamp that uses two brand new techniques. Uh, first of all, I'm going to create a sketch from the side profile. So I'm going to do it from the right. And uh, I'm going to use the revolve command, which uses like a side profile to roll it around. The width of my lamp is going to be 3 millimeters, which is equivalent to 15 centimeters across. So i got to zoom in here. So 3 millimeters across. The height is going to be about 40 centimeters, so 400 millimeters divided by 50 is 8. 8 tall. And then I can have some fun with the shape. So I think I do want a little bit of a line maybe now to come to the left. So this is really anything you want. I'm going to make it relatively small, maybe just one. Okay, and then the cool thing now is you can uh, use this spline tool. I like this one. There's two options. I think I like this one better for some reason. Fit point spline. So start at that base and then just kind of get creative about the shape of the lamp. You can have it kind of uh, curvy if you want. Okay. And then hit enter to finish that spline. So that'd be kind of a fat sort of lamp. Okay, you could adjust these points however you like. You can have more, more dots to work with. Maybe I'll even try one more time with some more dots. So I'm creating a spline, fit point spline. Maybe get more dots in there, give you a bit more control. Okay, so with that to start with, I want to make it kind of curvy. So make it so it looks nice. And there you go. I could show you that you can uh, control the handle here and you can sort of change how it looks with the handle as well. So let's say I'm happy with that. And now I can do this tool called revolve and it wants to know a profile, which is the whole area. It wants an axis, which is why we have our vertical line right there and it neatly spins it around for you. And so I have the base of my lamp ready to go. Now you could go uh, and do the you know light bulb and stuff like that too, uh, but I'm not going to. Um, the next part would be the top of the lamp. Um, so you could, you could probably uh, extrude this to give, I just want a flat surface to work with. So just give, that's sort of like the, uh, light bulb post there and it gives me a flat surface to work with and I can create a sketch right on it and this is going to be for the shade so I want it to be a nice circle and I want it to be a little larger than the base itself for the lampshade and so there it is as a base and I finish that sketch and so here's something new as well you can construct your own work planes to work from so I'm going to make my own work plane for sketching and it's going to be offset from this one upwards by, say, four. That would be equivalent to 20 centimeters. Do I like that? Just have a quick look from the side. I think I want a bit more. I could go in and change it. If I go back into my history, double click on my work plane, and I want to change it. I'm going to go with five. I can always change it later, too. Now I'm going to sketch on this brand new work plane. I do want a circle, but I don't want it as big as the other one, kind of like so. Let's see how this is going to look. And here's a new technique called loft. Create loft. And start with the base. Probably doesn't matter the order, but it makes um, one shape flow nicely into another. I can... Oh, neat. That just did something weird. Oh, it went back down. Wow, is that ever actually pretty cool? I kind of like that, but uh, I'm not gonna not gonna do that. Let's try it one more time. Create a loft. If I just select that, can I select that as well? And then this one. That's more what I was thinking. And just say okay. And there we are. I kind of think the top's too big, so I can go back into my second sketch there. And I can grab that little circle, I can make it smaller, and when I click Finish Sketch, it automatically updates. Quite brilliant. 
The other thing I want to do is make it a separate color with our two color printer. So I am going to go back into this loft, double click, and instead of joining, I want to make it a new body. Okay. And I can hit A on my keyboard and it brings up my material list. And I've got a few common ones maybe here. Let's see if that looks cool. I like that. You can, you can make the base a cool color too, possibly. Uh, if you want, you can go through all these. I don't know, is that going to work? Uh, sometimes you have to download it. Some of these materials I'm finding work, some just don't. Yeah, the, bl the black and red is not really what it's going for, not really what I wanted. Um, but I guess that is a fabric, so I can go Control A and it's, it's undone. It doesn't really matter at this point. I think I'm pretty happy. I want to print this in two colors, so I'll show you how to do that. Um, we can label them. This is the base and this is the shade. And I'm going to right click on the base and save it as a mesh. It's going to be an STL file saved in my folder for my designs. And then I do the same thing for the shade, save as a mesh. And the defaults are fine. Put it on high if it wasn't already. And this is now called shade. Great. And I can go to my slicer software. And I can start from scratch here and I can import both of those. So I'm holding the shift key as I select the second one and they both come in here to scale and there they are. And I can tell the printer to do the shade in extruder number two, which is white and it'll do uh, the other part in extruder one, which is silver. And then I press Control A to select them all. And lastly, Control Alt G groups them. And even though it doesn't really look a different color, it would actually print out uh, in whatever colors you have loaded. This is a nice little uh, model that I'm actually going to print. I do need support for that shade, which is not a problem. It'll do it with Extruder 2. I can preview that. And check it out on the first layer. First layer is always the most important. You can select um, instead of material color, you could do like line type and it really shows what's what. I like that one. So it's going to make some, this is called a skirt, and then this is your support material. And it's going to go on up and then support that uh, lampshade. And there we go. I'm going to send that. And that's all for making a little lamp.